Uh, you better make this shit good. <laughs> Happy Friday. I'm on here a little bit late. Um, you know, it's been a rough week. I've actually been in training classes all week. I went to work on Monday and then I had training class Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8.30 till 5. Y'all, it was long. And then today's Friday. We had to get up early and drop Jalen off for her second day of school. Um, and so she's off to the 11th grade child. She already hated it. <laughs> I told you got two more years, boo, two more years. Then you decide you want to go to college or not. We'll work it out from there. So I just got finished cooking a very late breakfast. It's 10 o'clock. But I just have one egg and half a bagel. And the reason why I have half a bagel is because I made Jalen a bagel this morning. And she eats so slow that, and she can't eat on the bus. So she only had eight, one piece of the bagel. And I told her I would eat the other half. So I guess in the morning if I make her a bagel, I just make her half a bagel since she eats so slow. And then, <clears throat> of course, my iced chai. And I am currently working um, on some work stuff, child. Ain't much going on. Um, I did clean up my room this morning. Not really clean, kind of tidy it up, put a couple of things away. I love, love, love you guys. How fast and quick and easy it is to clean up my room now that everything has a home and I have decluttered so much I am freaking loving it and I'm gonna have to show you guys some little updates that I made to my room last week that you guys can't see um one of them I want y'all opinion on I think it looks okay but I'm not really sure so I'll show you guys that in a little bit and then what else did I do of course I cleaned up the kitchen just wiped down the counters and stuff so the kids are washing their own dishes like I said previously so now if you were new here whenever somebody uses a dish they have to wash it right then because nobody wants to take responsibility for washing dishes and it all and i pay all the bills in the house and i buy all the groceries so i knew i wasn't gonna wash no dishes so the, the two over there was arguing with each other so i said you know what everybody just wash their own dishes, including me i don't make them wash my dishes i wash my own dishes well so that has been going great fantastic we hardly ever have any dishes in the sink and then what else am I up to? Clean up my office a little bit because it was messy from classes. I had like papers everywhere and taking notes and stuff. And so I finally cleaned off both of my desks, desks today because I was using them. Um, I did refill some of my uh, snacky snack things over here in the office this week. Um, still working on my little secret project. I worked on it last night. Kind of had a little trouble. I'm using a different type of material and it wasn't doing the best child. It was giving me a damn headache, but I got it. <laughs> I got it, y'all, but it was getting on my everlasting nerves. So I worked on that last night. And what else? So this weekend, what I want to do is um, probably continue order, organizing and tidying up the living room and getting that together. Um, my friend graduates tomorrow from college. She's getting her bachelor's degree. So I'm so, so proud of her because she's been working on it for a while. And she's a single mother like I am. So, you know, I already know the struggle bus that that takes. And so she graduates tomorrow. And we're going to have her graduation celebration at 2 o'clock. So I do have to go there tomorrow, which is going to be great. I love celebrating people. So I'll probably go out today sometime, tonight, after work. I'm really thinking about getting off work early today. Like, it's been a long week. My head hurt. I can't do nothing else. I might, you know, dip out on them after 12 o'clock. Like, for real, for real. And put my out of office. And be like, I see y'all on Monday. I, I might just do that. And um, dip out and, like, find her a gift or a card or something. I don't even know what to get a job. I always get gift cards. It's the best thing. Can't mess up with a gift card. That's what I have to say. So, that's what I'm doing right now so i'm gonna get back to work enjoy my breakfast and i will check in with you guys a little bit All right, guys i'm back it's currently one o'clock and i'm about to be out <laughs> i need to fill up my gas tank one two i need to run some errands I'm trying to think what i need to do while i'm out I'm trying to be as productive as possible because gas is hot number one i want to give me something to eat like I was supposed to be doing something else. I've always get it in my head I'm supposed to be doing something but then I get stuck on something else and can't remember what it was, child. I don't even know. I think I need to go back to the Home Depot. 
<laughs> Y'all be like, yo, shit. You cannot possibly go to the Home Depot in every damn reel, in every damn vlog. I can, and I will. <laughs> we Home Depot ball in. I'm just kidding. So I told you guys, I didn't tell you guys where the bench was. So I told you guys last week, I think in the vlog, that I couldn't get the top off of the bench to replace the fabric. So when my neighbor came over to pick up my lawnmower, I asked him to take it with him. He said he would take it home and like cut off the, what do you call it, the screws so we can get it up and not damage the wood. So that's where that is. Um, so hopefully I'll have that ready soon and I'm going to pop over and pick it up. And then this is the new area in my bedroom. I love it. It looks really, really good. So that little bench. I finally figured out where that's going to go in the end. In the end, it's going to go in my bathroom when I redo my bathroom. Because I'm going to need a little bench to sit on my bathroom. And so, they'll tie in perfectly well once the bathroom is done. But it'll sit there for now. This is the stand that I built, you guys, based off of that previous uh, picture I showed you guys in the last vlog. But I'll pop it up again so you guys can see. And then I just put my little plant here to have some little greenery in the room. So, yes, that's what it looks like. I was recently listening to Adele before I had to go in my office for a minute. So, and then the records will fit right there. So, that's the record player, the receiver, and my speakers. So, I don't think it looks that bad. What do you guys think? So, once again, I don't know if I want to paint it white and dark at the top. Sort of like this. So, all... The legs will be white, the base here will be white, the two things right here will be white, and then the top will be dark right there is what I'm thinking. Or should I make the base white with the legs white and then the rest of it dark? See, I don't know. I don't know what the two-tone would look like. So this is how all the rest of my furniture looks, as you guys know, uh, light with a dark top. So trying to figure out what to do with that. But anyway, I need to hurry up and get some clothes on. Uh, hop in the shower get some clothes on and get out of here if I want to do what I want to do Before I have to pick up a child that is mine <laughs> So over here, I'm trying to get my console table together mind you these two books at the bottom are cookbooks And they're not gonna stay there But the other three books are and I'm looking for two more books maybe to stack up right there But I'm really loving this little space. What do you guys think? Give me some flowers replaced because of course those are dying and I need to wash this window because I did just pull it out of my shed and it got like cobwebs and everything else on it, child. But once I clean it up, I think it'll look good right here, right? It's just, just a nice little piece. What do you guys think? I don't know. I kind of like it. It's growing on me. I didn't like it at first, but it's growing on me. Tell me what you guys think. Guys, I'm out of the shower. This is the outfit. I swear these are not the same jeans. I just have two pairs. The rip is actually different in this one. <laughs> but they're all by Amagrami, so they look just alike. I got on this shirt from Shein. I got my Kate Spade bag. Of course, I've been getting my wear out of these Converse Dukes by Steve Madden. So, this is the outfit of the day for today. I actually need to get a picture for my thumbnail. I swear y'all be liking the thumbnail. You're like, Kelsha, all you wear is neutrals. I love neutrals. Y'all get used to it. It is what it is. Sometimes I'll dip it in hot sauce if I'm coming straight home. 
but there they charge you for hot sauce like if you don't put it on your chicken and you want it in a container they charge you for it like why either way it go you was gonna put it on there but anyway so <laughs> they uh charge you for having it on the side basically i guess for being a little bougie with your hot sauce so that's what that's why i ain't gonna get no hot sauce just salt and pepper's fine then but yeah that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna do some music and uh when I get to the thrift store, we'll see what we can find. Definitely don't need any any more blazers. But you know I'm going to have to go to the men's section to see what I can find, y'all. See what I can find. <laughs> I'm back. Got back in time to pick up Jalen. Didn't find that much at the thrift store. It was a bust. It was a bust of the bust. I did get my chicken. Didn't eat nothing but the fries. So we're going to work on that. I um, want to give you guys a couple updates. So the one thing I did get from the thrift store is this really nice tripod for $6. Perfect. Um, very heavy duty. I have another one, but it's really, really cheap. And this one, like, can go all the way like this. And it can go up. And I need a backup tripod, so this is going to be perfect. So that's that. And then, update on reading. Okay. I can't read heavy no more. I'm going to have to heavy it and give it a break. I'm on page 86. It's just a lot. I can't. I need to switch gears. So I'm going to switch gears. Because <laughs> I was supposed to finish it last week and I didn't. And I didn't get to start a new book this week because classes, it was just a lot. So we're going to start Memphis by Tara Stringfellow, which is our book club book read of the month. And book club is not this Sunday, but next Sunday. And our theme is actually what I have on, a blue jeans and a white shirt. <laughs> Very several combinations of this look that I can wear. So don't fret. Um, so I'm about to probably start that in a little while. I just want to listen to some music. So we're about to get the record player going this is a close-up a lot of you are telling me to make it a dark wood color so we might just stain it all one color the same color as the ones in my actual laundry room i actually like this plant in here you know i've been in and out of here several times but i really like this but now like when i do my outfit videos this is taking up my outfit video picture, but some of this stuff is going to have to be real life in the little reel. So, real life, real life. So, I think we're going to listen to some Adele, or I might go out there and give me some Sade, or some, what's that guy's name? What his name is? Al Green. Haven't listened to Al Green in a while. That would be perfect on a good Friday night. I need to give me a glass of wine. We might have to set a whole mood, y'all. I might have to wait a little bit later. It's still kind of early. It's like 4 o'clock, so... I don't know if we can do wine and Al Green yet, but we might do wine and Al Green a little bit later. But I guess we'll just roll with Adele right quick. Go ahead and hit play. Get that thing crack a lacking. I love this one because it's like so high tech compared to my other one with the needle and stuff. But yeah. But I'm going to go before we get copyright. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. is 625 and I am on page 77 of Memphis it's actually really good it's going by fast um I'm gonna stop on chapter 11 which will be on page 81 so I have like three more pages to read and then I'm gonna take a break and probably watch me a movie or watch me a show or something like that and just chill out it's really gonna be a chill Friday night. I'm not trying to do too much or do a lot. So it's going to be chill. Um, I'll probably eventually get in my pajamas. I still, y'all, have not folded them clothes from last weekend. They're still in that basket over there. Maybe I will get some energy to do it tonight if I get a second win or tomorrow. I'm going to make myself do it tomorrow. I know I am because this is ridiculous. Um, thank God I didn't leave the house all this week. So I didn't have to dig through the pile. Look at my clothes. But I'd be shamed, y'all. Them clothes been in there for a whole week. It is what it is. I'm not shamed. I don't care. But I will probably fold them tomorrow. Maybe more than likely. Hopefully. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'll come back probably to close out the vlog tonight. Or close out today, tonight. But I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else today. 
My friend Ophelia wanted to go out for drinks and stuff. I just didn't feel like it. So I um, told her we'll have to do a rain check. You know, I went out last weekend. There's too many weekends in a row, child. Too many weekends in a row. I can't do it. I can't do it. So <laughs> it is what it is. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit. camera died of course so while I was folding clothes I finished folding my clothes clean my room and then I came in my office to upload the footage that I already recorded to go ahead and post the live event for tomorrow in my Facebook group um, and while I was doing that I made me a bagel and a chai iced chai tea continue reading on Memphis I'm on page 96 chapter 13 um, it's really really good I'm very much enjoying it um, <clears throat> so I'm just letting my hair actually put some condition in my hair, deep conditioning. It's 11 o'clock. I think I'm going to deep condition for about 15 more minutes, 11, 15. And then we're going to hop in the shower, wash my hair out, and then blow dry it. And then I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do after I blow dry it. I'm thinking I might just throw some flexi rods in it. So I don't want to put any heat on it. It's going to be hot and humid. I don't feel like being bothered. I think I kind of have an idea of what my outfit is going to be. To get there on time, I have to leave here at 1 o'clock. So I don't have that much time <laughs> to get my life together. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I need to balance my budget. Because I got some money deposit yesterday. So I need to update my budget. And then... I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to do at this moment. I was just checking in with you guys. So I'll come back and show you guys like my outfit and stuff if I have time. Hopefully I don't procrastinate too long and go on ahead and get in the shower and get my life together. But if I do, <laughs> you'll see it either before or after the event. So yeah, so I'll check with you guys later. Alright guys, I'm currently in the laundry room and I'm about to iron my pants. Pretty much dressed. I got my shirt on. What is that? How did I get that on my pants? Y'all, let's see something. What is that? I don't even know. It is what it is. I'm wearing these pants. <laughs> I haven't even worn these yet, so this thing must have been on there. When I bought them and I didn't see it. It's not that big. So I'm just going to roll with it. Roll with it, roll with it. So I'm just putting on these pants that I bought from Forever 21. And I did a, a try on inside of the fitting room when I was in Forever 21. I was in Florida for Alicia's baby shower. So y'all already saw these pants on me. And I have on that same black uh, bodysuit that I had on in that clip with it and I'm just gonna put on my black sandals I thought about putting on my fedora I'm really coming a fedora break like I want to wear a fedora everywhere but I think I'm gonna refrain from this fedora today because they say trying to take pictures and do stuff I don't want to be blocking people with my hat um you know I'm gonna keep with this outfit but nonetheless um so, you know, I'm cold gray, so I'm just going to throw on my black linen blazer with it and my black sandals from ASOS that I wore to the baby shower last week. And we're going to be out here. It's almost 1 o'clock. I think I had 10 minutes when I came in here. So, 
It says it's gonna take me about 43 minutes to get to where I'm going. So like I said, I always leave about an hour early because you just never know. Traffic could be bad, they could have had an accident. Anything can go on in Birmingham, child. I did not pay attention to these pants when I bought them. Why are they? My pants got all kind of stuff going on with them. Jesus, I probably only been to wear these a couple of times, as cute as they is. If I did pay attention, whatever, it is what it is. We're gonna wear these pants and keep it moving. Keep it moving. <sighs> That's why they say for Forever 21 is definitely the place to wear stuff for like two minutes because. It ain't gonna last you probably no longer than that, child. No longer than this. get dressed and I'll show you guys my outfit and then we want to get up out of here if we're gonna be on time I'm here now it didn't quite work out but whatever it is what it is this is the outfit you guys can see in its entirety like I said these earrings are from Alicia's shop this necklace from Alicia this necklace is mine bracelets on this arm is Alicia's bracelets on its arm are mine and then I have a mixture of rings <laughs> and then I have on this black linen blazer from h and m linen blend rather this bodysuit is from forever 21 along with the pants and my sandals are from asos so this is the outfit of the day and i don't feel like repacking my bag so i am going to take my kate spade bag which doesn't match that well but whatever it's going to be a contrast today but this is my outfit i'm running late so i'm about to get ready to go Right, guys i'm finally leaving the big whiskey and y'all i would not ever come back to the big whiskey again like service was freaking horrible you hear me it was horrible our waitress i don't know if she was new she didn't know what she was doing and she didn't know how to ask for help i don't know what and i don't even care at this point but it was horrible service it took forever for our food to come out everybody's food did not come out at once like some people was finished eating by the time my food came out and then one guy they just completely forgot about him like i mean we were all done eating by the time he got his food and he just ordered a burger and <laughs> so and you know the waitress wasn't like i was sorry she didn't apologize she wasn't empathetic or nothing i don't know what her problem was or maybe they gave her a hard time maybe she had a rough day but that's why i say if you can't handle being a waitress don't be a waitress i know for a fact that i cannot handle being a waitress we weren't being ugly to her either at all we didn't even say no we were just sitting there waiting but i can't be a waitress because i know i can't have a positive attitude regardless like regardless of what's going on you gotta have a positive attitude to be a waitress like you just gotta be nice to be a waitress i can't be no fucking waitress like i because everybody out and a manager and lead that damn restaurant okay so that's why i know i can't do it i ain't never tried to be no waitress and i knew i wasn't never gonna be one okay i'm not even trying to fool myself okay it's getting fired <laughs> but i'm headed home now the prices were okay it wasn't overpriced and i see why because food ain't nothing it was it was just mediocre but yeah so we won't be going back there 10 out of 10 do not recommend okay <laughs> no uh <laughs> ghetto hood but anyway i'm headed to the house i actually wanted to go by the beauty supply store but it's five o'clock i don't know what time they close so i might try to take a different way and stop by the beauty supply store because i need to get some more shampoo and stuff but it depends on how i feel when i get there it's hot we sat outside so i've been sweating as you see i found me a hair bow in my car and i 
have put my hair up, y'all, because I am burning up. It's, complete, it's 95 right now. It's freaking 5 o'clock. So, I'm just going to ride to the house, ride to the house, and I'll check out you guys when I get there. It's cool off, y'all. I need to cool off. You hear me? Guys, happy Sunday. I think it's almost 10 or 11. I left y'all in the car last night, so that's why y'all ain't getting no clothes out, no nothing, child. I forgot about y'all because I started talking to a couple of my friends on the ride home. So I called different friends of mine to check up on them. And then me and my boot thing, we got talking. We was on the phone for like three hours, y'all. <laughs> three hours. Like, hadn't talked to them in a minute, so we had to catch up or whatever. Y'all, look at my yard. Like, I have got to hurry up and get my lawnmower fixed. I'm growing a whole jungle out here. Like it's thick and deep. I be having to watch out, make sure you no know, freaking snakes or something out here. Saw mushrooms growing. That's what happens when you don't maintain your yard in the country. Like anything can grow. But I was gonna show you all the garden because I haven't given y'all up there in the garden like for never. <laughs> like just forever, ever. It's still alive. Those same three plants are still alive, y'all, and they still going i guess what you can call strong but here's an update on the garden so my tomatoes are getting red so these two and this one so i'm not gonna pluck them till they're all the way red so i don't think they're gonna get any bigger though and this one i had to restate because the storm came and like it was leaning all the way over and look See the caterpillars are killing my plant. So you see it? And that's why you see all of these bark bite marks. They be coming through and just eating my shit. So So I got a pepper right here. My banana pepper plant been doing really good. And then I got one growing right here. This is a new baby one coming in. And as you can see, it's getting humongous. This pepper plant is still not doing anything it's getting ate up but i haven't seen it try to grow a pepper never child so i don't know what it's gonna do but that's an update on it that's what it's looking like so this one i've gotten at least four or five peppers out of i just haven't shown you guys I actually have a huge one in the refrigerator that i can show you guys when i get inside oh and there's one coming on right here too and i might get another stick and kind of prop this one up but yeah that's what it's looking like so this one's doing really really good um and I never replant it because, of course, I got into some other projects and all that. And this thing is still leaning. So, we just got to see what we're going to do when the new season comes. But I'm going to let them grow until the season's over, until it gets cold and they die or do whatever they're going to do. See, it looks like something ate on this one. So, I don't know. See right there. But other than that, doing pretty good. Pretty good out here. Nothing's eating on the tomato plants. Just even on the pepper plant. Like tomato plants not getting eaten or anything. I kind of zip tied it to this to hold it up and to my stick. Hopefully some tomatoes will start growing there. But yeah, these little worms and stuff be out here trying to eat up my shit. Anyway, I need to call my neighbor, ask him what the guy said about my lawnmower. And if he finished my bench, I can go, go pick it up and recover it and put it back together. There'll be another little mini project done. I thought about working on my side table today, but I don't know if I'm going to work on it or not. I don't know if I feel like it. I feel like it's going to be my Sunday rest day. Like, just chill out. For real, for real. It's already hot out here. They're talking about it's going to get into triple digits next week. I ain't coming out this house. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I ain't coming to this house. Oh, this is stuff on the porch. Still growing wild parsley. Cilantro is dead. The parsley still growing. The basil is probably dead, dead. It's flowering. This uh, lavender still growing. Rosemary. My peppermint. Looking real good. And my little cabbage here. It's looking suspect. I mean, I can't tell if it's getting, it's not getting any bigger, to my opinion. 
it might be stifled in this little small pot but it's curling in itself so that's what that looks like that's really all the updates I got for real for real I ain't did nothing else about to make me some breakfast right quick make me some eggs and some cinnamon toast and then the little pepper that I told you guys about that was big. It's right here. This is how big one of my peppers got. It's huge. I put it in the refrigerator. I always put them in the refrigerator and I never eat them before they go bad. But it got huge. So this grew off that pepper plant. It's big. I'm going to have to do better. I know. Don't talk about me, y'all. Don't talk about me. All right. I'm going to make me some breakfast right quick. And just be lazy. I think today is going to be a lazy day. I really do. <laughs> I, I'll check with you guys a little bit later. Oh, and I've been obsessively watching Hoarders. <laughs> it made me want to get up and clean the fuck up immediately, y'all. <laughs> watching this show be like, child, what can you throw away? What can you clean up today? <laughs> I was telling my little guy friend last night, I was like, I've been watching Hoarders. I said, it just make you want to get up and clean up shit and find shit to throw away, child to throw away immediately like throw that stuff away for real for real but yeah that's what i'm doing so i will check it with you guys a little bit later book I'm almost finished I want to finish it today so I can start a new book next week or tomorrow <laughs> which is next week and I'm currently headed of course you guessed it to the Home Depot because that's what I do <laughs> because I wanted to I'm trying to get an idea of quick projects that I can finish before the holiday holiday season start and kind of organize and get things together so I've been wanting to make a blanket ladder for the longest for my den because you guys know we have blankets everywhere in the den um in that basket and they don't all fit in the basket and you have to roll them up and the kids are not going to do that and it's just a big mess so I've been wanting to create a blanket ladder and I just decided you know I watched a couple videos which I watched videos in the past it's super simple I was just being lazy and the funny thing about it is I have so much wood at home that literally I have no wood to make the ladder, the blanket ladder, right? Why? It's because I just have pieces of wood, so I need to start getting rid of wood that I can't really do anything with. I just keep it thinking I'm going to be able to use it for another project, and then when it comes down to do another project, it's not enough wood to do anything. Like, it would be all, I mean, I have enough to make a Mitch match, <laughs> like, rinky-dinky blanket ladder, but I want my blanket ladder all the wood to match because I'm going to stain it. That dark color, rest of the, you know, accents in the house with that dark wood color so I want to stain it and I want it the stain to all look the same so I'm gonna need the all the same type of wood if I want it to look the same so I'm gonna go and get some one by three furring strips which will cost I think like two dollars and something a piece and then I'll probably need some screws um but that should be all that I need all right you guys we are out of the Home Depot and I got the furring strips these are one by threes uh, for the blanket ladder, I'm going to attempt to make it uh, angle cut so it leans against the wall like flush and not just hit the wall with the sharpness of the square. And of course, I have to sand them down. We'll see how this goes. I think it's going to be super cute. The reason why I'm doing it is because we do have a basket in there for the blankets, but I have so many blankets that I had. I got three left. The children took two to their room that they don't damn confiscate it and shit. So, um... I'm going to have three on there at this moment and it's just hard putting them back in the basket you know you they want to roll them up but then you have to roll them so tight so they'll actually fit in the basket and they just used to just throw them everywhere and I feel like if we have the blanket ladder it'll be a, a lot easier to fold it and throw it on the blanket ladder but they ain't gonna do it pretty they ain't never gonna do nothing pretty child but at least there'll be somewhere where I can refold them make them look pretty if I want to but these children they don't care child they don't care 
Um, but we gotta get some Starbucks because I deserve some Starbucks. Hey, Ooh. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Chris. What's your name? Uh, KK. KK, all right. Yes, can I have the uh, mango dragon fruit in the grande? And what, um, with water, let me know. Kind of. uh, water, please. Can you make it a, put some extra simple syrup or whatever makes it sweet in there? Yeah, we can put some classic syrup in there. Okay. Anything else? That'll be all. I'll say if you're 578. Thank you. 578, sir. Thank you. Thank you. you want to try today? Uh, no, thank you. All right, you're all set. Thank you. You too. make this shit good. <laughs> Facebook live I always I almost missed it if y'all don't know I do a Facebook live every Sunday in my Facebook group um, except on the Sunday when we do the book club thing so if y'all want to see the live make sure you sign up for my Facebook group link will be down below um, so yeah but that's what I'm doing so let's see if we can get this blanket ladder put together before I have to start working on Jalen's hair because you have to be in the bed at 9 so it's already 7 so I need to get the hustle in, hustle, hustle, hustle. Uh, uh, uh. I can't keep pretending it's not getting to me. It's never ending. Can't give you what you need. Uh. blanket ladder all done looks good doesn't it Ew. I'm always doing something ain't I? <laughs> I love it let's go put it in the den yay Yes, 
it's level. A A A A A A. I love these. Yay! The blanket ladder was a success. Right now, I only have one clean lad, one clean blanket. I gotta wash the other two to put up there. But it looks so good. I'm excited. It has six little things. So, super excited for that. Now we gotta go do Jalen's hair. First skew tomorrow. What fun, what fun. First I gotta clean up this mess that is my <laughs> living room at this moment. finished the blanket ladder and then I did Jalen's hair but she been asleep for hours um it's one o'clock in the morning y'all I can't go to sleep for whatever reason I'm just that tired even though I'm yawning I can't seem to go to sleep I finished Memphis it was good I gave it five stars read a really good read so I'll probably start Verity tomorrow or either the seller might start the seller that way the book very fresh in my mind when we have a book club for my Facebook group. Y'all don't know the Facebook group wanted to have a book club. So we picked out our first book for the month of August, which was Verity by Colleen Hoover. And we have a live Zoom show either the 28th or the 11th of September. So if you want to be involved in that, make sure you go ahead and check out the Facebook group. I'll put the link down below. You guys check it out and i go live every sunday at 6 p.m most sundays let's say most sundays at 6 p.m so yeah but i'm about to wind down i just came to close out the vlog but i forgot about y'all y'all see i'm all in my pajamas now child it's been hours hours one o'clock in the morning but i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog i know it was probably all over the place i was doing the whole most but it was fun nonetheless so i will see you guys in the next video deuces